So let's take a look at the lab. First, I'm going to go through the Visio diagram of all the different parts and pieces we're going to be looking at uh, during this uh, particular course. And we're going to jump around and type a few commands and, and see how the network is operating. I do have some, some base configurations on there. We have uh, SSH to the devices currently. Uh, but there's some things that uh, need to be looked at, and we're going to be moving into those uh, topics uh, during the course. But I want to just take a look at the, how the lab is set up right now to give you a quick introduction. As you can see, we have a much more complex lab in part two of ICND than we did in part one. Uh, still, we have uh, some way off to the Internet, but uh, in this particular case, we're seeing that our, our headquarters office here is much larger. Uh, we still have the same remote office, branch office we had before, except for we now have an IP phone sitting out here, as well have, as having one down here. Of course, we don't have call manager built in, so we have other ways to uh, get the phones to talk to each other. But uh, we've added a little bit of uh, voice over IP into the mix as well. Uh, in this case, we have our access switch is uh, redundantly connected to a pair of uh, layer three switches. Now, the CCNA course isn't uh, very in depth on how layer three switches operate, but uh, I threw them in here just uh, for grins and just to give you an idea of you know how you'd actually do this in a, uh, a larger network. Uh, so I threw this in here. We'll we'll add a few extra things like uh, building a basic uh, ether channel connection between the two switches and uh, how we'd uh, handle switching between VLANs, uh, routing between VLANs rather. Um, the method they want to teach you in this particular course uh, is a little bit inefficient. I'll show you how they want you to learn it and then the right way to do it um, with uh, real network gear uh, with layer three switches here. Uh, we have uh, Frame Relay. We'll talk about that uh, later. We have PPP that's already set up right now, which we did in the version 1 portion of this course. And then later on, we'll be uh, over the Internet connecting a IPsec VPN across the Internet uh, between uh, these two routers here. So we got uh, quite a bit to actually look at. Uh, I want to point out the things that we already have in place. Now, this, uh, this diagram is set up right now for me to SSH over to various devices. Uh, one of the things we did talk about quite a bit uh, in the previous course was how to configure secure shell as opposed to using Telnet, which we discovered that we could easily see any of the conversations going by if somebody was able to watch it using a sniffer such as uh, Wireshark here. Uh, so we configured our devices for SSH access, and I've already done that uh, for the devices. And I want to kind of browse around and show you what uh, is currently in place as we move into learning more about uh, how to properly set up this network. Now, this network is sort of connected to each other. We do have the IP access uh, from my workstation I'm sitting at right here uh, through the phone. Uh, we can get about this far, but because uh, no routing is set up, we can't get any farther. Uh, but if we get this far, we can then use this jump off point to get a little farther into the network, which I'll show you. Uh, it's not actually set up and operational in a full sense of the word. Uh, I am using VLAN 1, which uh, if you look down here, uh, you may not be able to see this uh, very clearly. To see what I actually did here, if I uh, zoom in a little closer, uh, say 150%, uh, the, the notation I put here is that this switch is going to be running VLAN 2 for uh, the devices attached to it. And VLAN 1, which is what I'm currently attached to, is crossed out because we don't want to be using VLAN 1. And I'll talk about that in the very next section as we talk about VLANs. Uh, but for now, what I'm going to use is uh, this uh, interface here with, uh, with Visio. I've just got it set full screen. And I can use it like a web interface and, uh, and actually use it to click and attach the device itself. I'm going to click on Access Switch 2 to bring up PuTTY, which is my SSH client of choice. Uh, that's my personal choice. If you like something like Secure CRT or some other uh, application to do SSH, uh, feel free. I like PuTTY because it uh, gives me the ability to do uh, opaque, uh, opacity uh, for the windows so you can see the diagram in the background while I'm actually working on the devices. So in this case, my password is admin and Cisco to log in. Uh, we have our, our banner here, ICND Part 2, telling me I'm at uh, Access Switch 2, and uh, this is a, a Catalyst 2950T switch.